Hello everybody. Welcome to Lisa's Spirit Readings. I'm going to be doing a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius today. This will be a general reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. Take what you can, leave the rest. My readings are timeless, so I believe that when you're meant to find this, you will. Um, what else do we have? All of my info is in the description box. Again, this reading is for Sagittarius. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards to start. A lot of, a lot of readers do it at the end. I like to do it at the beginning. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, the tarot cards. And I know the last time, which has been quite a while, so I apologize, Sagittarius people. Um... Last time, I do believe uh, your reading was about somebody wanting to reunite with you. So I'm um, anxious to see what we get this time. But like I said, I know it's it's been a minute. I do apologize. Summertime kind of takes me away, you know, to the outside uh, where I love to be. So anyway, let's get started. I will get started with your oracle. Spirit, what messages do Sagittarius need to hear? Could I have three cards, please, for Sagittarius? What messages do they need to hear? Three cards, please. Oh, okay. That one I don't want. Okay. <clears throat> so we have Dove Spirit, which is, um, excuse my stool. Um, it squeaks. Uh, we have dove spirit, which, you know, doves, doves represent peace, peace offerings, uh, being peaceful, offering, you know, being peaceful with other people. We have stag spirit, take the lead. So this is about leadership, maybe with yourself or with others. We'll get we'll get more as we go along usually and this is the reason why i like to do the oracle cards first um a lot of the times the rest of the cards the tarot cards end up kind of you know clarifying the oracles i don't think i've ever pulled this one before third one sandpiper spirit be playful so along with that leadership energy you want to uh, remain a in a playful state so let me go ahead and get your tarot cards pulled Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius please what messages do you have for Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to hear the most right now three cards please one, two, three. One more card, please. Thank you. Eight of Wands, it's in reverse. Oops, I don't want that one. Six of Swords in reverse. And the Emperor in reverse. Wow, they all came they all came out in reverse. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I'm actually going to pull three more right now. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. This is, uh, he's an emotional, emotionally centered uh, person. He kind of stays centered in his emotions. He's surrounded here by water. Um, in a meditative type of space. So it may be that lately, you know, you've been in this frame of mind or... Or somebody you're acquainted with is in this frame of mind. That was your bottom of the deck. Um, <clears throat> and it looks like recently you've kind of really slowed down in regards to something. Uh, Eight of Wands, that's a fire sign. That's, uh, you know, Wands are their action. Um, they move movement forward, you know, movement ahead with something, passion, you know, sparks of passion. This is in reverse. So this is kind of saying that you've lost your passion for something in the recent past. And you've been more in your head. I know you just had the King of Cups, so that might be about somebody else because... You've got the Queen of Swords here. So it's kind of like you've stopped... You, you've lost passion for something. <clears throat> or even someone. Uh, because you've got the Queen of Swords also. And she is not about emotions. She's about logic. And in this card, Queen of Swords... Um, hopefully you can see this here. Oh, as I flip it over. Her cup here is locked up. It's kind of in the cup jail. So this means putting aside your emotions and using that sword logic, that, that thinking energy as opposed to being all about your emotions. Um, and it could be that you've just done this to bring yourself some more peace. We will clarify these also. Um, in your current energy, under the stag spirit where you've got uh, taking the lead, the first one is Ace of Swords, but it's in reverse. So Ace of Swords, you know, that's usually something new, new thoughts typically with the sword energy, and it could just be carried over from, from the Queen of Swords here in your recent past. Um... It's, it's like you want to stop. You, you've made a conscious decision to stop. Stop doing something. Um, and then you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles, a lot of times it's about lacking. Lacking money. Um, lacking energy. Um, but this is in reverse. So while these are kind of halting here it seems like now you might be starting to turn that around especially maybe if it has to do with finances this this is a pinnacle this can be about finances uh material things careers um it can also be about effort so we're in the upright you know she, she's kind of defeated here but she doesn't really realize there's a key here. You know, she can open that door at any time. But in her state of mind, she's not really noticing that because she's too busy kind of, you know, being in her own head. Um, with that kind of defeated energy. But like I said, this one is in reverse. This is your current energy. Um... And it may even be you've been avoiding thinking about something or someone. Near future, the Emperor in reverse. This can be about 
somebody in your life trying to control you. Emperors in the upright, you know, emperors are uh, their leaders, they're in charge, people follow them. Um, you know, they have this. <laughs> they're definitely the stag spirit where they take the lead. But this guy's in reverse, okay? This is also a uh, fire sign. It, it's actually the card of Aries in the Major Arcana. But in reverse, this can be controlling, uh, egotistical, not not a nice type of energy. This is your near future, so we'll get more on that so we can clarify this even more. Because this might bring about some some upset some <sighs> the four of cups to me it, it, she you know in this deck particular she just looks bored and just she just does not care um she's kind of indifferent to what's going around around her and it's actually very similar to the five of pentacles energy when it's in the upright um it's kind of a combination of self-pity uh, and, and boredom at the same time. So you might be coming up into this energy. We'll see. Let me get my other deck. Uh, actually, uh, let me pull three more with this deck before I do that. Let's grab three more cards, please. Thank you. Two more cards. For Sagittarius, please. Clarify these. Two more cards for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. One more card. One more card, please. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Looks like this might be about, might have to do with your, your finances or the amount of effort you've had here. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, that time, Magician. You know, Magician, that's about um, manifesting what you want, using the tools that you have available uh, within yourself to manifest those things in your life uh, that you're looking to manifest, uh, whether it's, you know, relationships, career, um, love, home life, whatever the case may be. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles here under this Queen of Swords. So it may be that you stop moving forward with one action and you kind of turn the corner, moving away with this Queen of Swords, kind of, maybe you were, maybe you were too emotional in the, in the, in the past. You made the conscious decision to move forward with this Queen of Swords energy, which is very you know, up in your thoughts and, and logically thinking, you know, not, um, not being stuck in an emotional state. And then the queen of pentacles, she's stable, she's secure, um, she's independent. And that sort of feels like what this, what this reading is saying, like you've been moving, moving towards independence so you've kind of had some a change of course a change of action whether it's a career um job something to do with i feel more physically tangible things um, whatever that may be because here we've got the six of pentacles below this five in reverse and this is about six of pentacles. That's about give and take with somebody. Uh, it may be that you've started a business with somebody. You know, you, you 
this is in your current energy field where it's got take the lead. Perhaps you took a new job where you're the boss. Uh, and maybe the emperor here in reverse might reflect somebody that you have to work with. Somebody, you know, you could be the boss. Even bosses have bosses. So this could be somebody that you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that's causing you this Four of Cups energy. But then we have the Strength card here. The last one I just pulled out. Um, and this is about, and it's, this is Leo, Fire Energy. She's got two sides to her, as you can see. Her everyday face, if you want to call it that. This side of her is the lion. That's, you know, lions are symbolic for strength, for courage, for for leadership. Um, and this tattoo here on her arm, that's about the balance between the two. So it's about having this side of you where you've got this calming, peaceful, like the dove lamb energy. Um, but the other side of you is going to bring out that strength. It's kind of like, what's the thing that's saying for March? March comes in like a lamb and goes out like a lion. Or maybe it comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. I can't, I can't remember. But regardless, um, it looks like you might have some of that, you know, in your future where you've got to kind of reach down to find that lion, to find that courage and strength. Uh, maybe you've had difficulties with it in the past. Let me get some clarifiers right away. We got Mother of Pentacles on this Eight of Wands. So Mother of Pentacles in this deck is equivalent to this Queen down here. I definitely feel this relates to money. Um, it can relate to time and effort, but it doesn't feel that way to me. Ten of Wands. This can be a heavy burden, and I feel this is your 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 past energy, and it's it's clarifying the Queen of Swords. But remember, I said you put away those emotions, you set them aside. I think that you felt this heavy burden. You you had a heavy emotional burden with something. I don't feel the burden was about money. It, may, it could have been. Maybe you just weren't happy if it was about a job and you've just changed course to try to, you know, better your career. Maybe you started, maybe you went to school. Um, anything relating to, you know, finances, uh, home stability, stability overall. Let me get one for the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles, that's... That can sometimes be about holding on to something too tight, holding on to your money too tight. Um, you know, maybe you, you didn't really want to let go of what this was in your past, but you made the decision to do that anyway so that you could, you know, better, better this situation or better this, you know, job or career. The bottom of the deck that time was Ten of Pentacles. That's the ultimate, you know, we've got Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is that stability. Um, it is, well, actually, this is in reverse. Um, so that might be, you know, some shakiness there. Let me get some more. Let me clarify this Ace of Swords. guys why is ace of swords here please Let's clarify ace of swords why is the ace of swords here Some sagittarius please thank you 
Yeah, the chariot. So the chariot, you know, that's about moving forward. It's about finding balance in your life in general. Uh, in this deck, it's symbolized with the horse. The balance is symbolized by the sun up here and the moon, actually on the horse's forehead. It's a movement forward. It can indicate travel. You know, if this is about a new job, it can mean that you've been, you know, thinking about taking the job with, with travel involved. Um, and this Ace of Swords in reverse, you know, that's, that's a... Swords are also about the truth. Um, but this in reverse would indicate an untruth or not the truth. Um, I think it's more or less about you finding your own truth and moving forward with that chariot energy, maybe moving into this uh, stag spirit energy of taking the lead, maybe... You know, in the past, you were afraid you didn't you didn't want to be a leader. Uh, maybe you got to use that strength to to find that leadership energy. Bottom of the deck that time we had King of Wands, um, and Wands again. It's that it's that fire energy. It's movement forward. Um, I'm sorry. This is Knight of Wands. Uh, it's that passionate energy, sparks of energy, you know, sparks of, you know, like, oh, I want to, I want to start a business. I want to, you know, um, take a new job. I want to, you know, some kind of like those aha moments. It's similar to that. Now, clarifying five of pentacles. We've got the Six of Pentacles again, which is right here. Yeah, this is very much about money or career, financial matters. Knight of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck that time. Um, that's that logical thinking. Let me get one on the Six of Pentacles. I'm pretty sure Pentacle's probably going to come out. <laughs> You've got a lot of them in your reading this time. Here, please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Thank you. Two of Wands. Yeah, so Two of Wands, this could, this is, it's, it's moving forward with an action. That's why this card in particular in this deck has red yellow it's got the colors meaning you know it's an action card much like this one up here um, with all the colors this can be about deciding which action to take and because it's on the six of pentacles remember i said this can be you know give and take even giving to charity but i feel like this is maybe you've decided to or you're currently this is your current energy Perhaps you're going into business with somebody. Perhaps somebody came forward and offered you this opportunity and, and you're deciding, you know, whether to do that or not. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. Same card you have up here. This is not in reverse, though. So this is pushing forward with that passionate movement energy moving forward with something let me get some on the emperor in reverse or i should say one thank you i didn't even ask even though i stated it page of wands this is the beginning of something. It's a beginning of an action. If 
this emperor in reverse is somebody you know it, it almost feel and, and they are work related or career related it almost feels like you're going to be taking their role they're sitting in this egotistical controlling energy and it almost feels like you're going to come in and replace that person um that's what it's feeling like to me then we have daughter of cups on the bottom of the deck which is a page of cups this is a, a, a the thought of somebody giving something to you an offer cups are emotional usually um, it could be relating to this up here where I just said, you know, somebody might be offering you to take that person's place because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing or their ego got in the way. Let me clarify the four of cups. Okay. Okay, so clarifying the Four of Cups, Father of Cups, which is the King of Cups. This is that emotionally centered energy. So this is your, your, your future energy. You're going from the Four of Cups to this, you know, boredom, indifference, kind of lacking, you know, blah, blah energy, kind of bleh. Um, to, to the King of Cups, which is, you know, that's that leadership energy, but it's, it's using your emotions. It's not, it's not the sword energy. It's a more, you know, loving type of energy, more emotional. Um, bottom of the deck, another pentacle, son of pentacles. This is an ace. Um, again. Let me get one on the strength card. Spirit, why is the strength card here, please, with Sagittarius? Thank you. Justice. Hmm. That's interesting. There could be some, some justice involved. When you get up the strength, you know, hold on. I just had my own aha moment. With all these pentacles that you have here, turning from your feelings to your to your thoughts and logical thinking back here and the way that this is transformed from your past to your future this could also have something to do with court a divorce a, a court case maybe a civil lawsuit that you're in but I feel like you're the one that's going to come out ahead here bottom of the deck right after I pulled this seven of swords which is about betrayal somebody's not telling the truth somebody's been trying to be sneaky it's not you you're not the one that's been trying to be sneaky I mean it's possible <laughs> I hope not <laughs> but it, it I feel this has to do with this justice here and the strength card especially let me get my other deck actually let me see here what I'm going to do now I'm going to actually go over to um, the extended reading uh, on Gumroad there's going to be a link for it down in the description box because I want to get more clarifiers with it with yet a different deck on this um to see whether really this is more job or 
or a legal matter um, that you've got going here. So I really want to dig deeper into this. Um, if you're not going to the extended, I would say that things are going to turn this corner for you, whether this here relates to, it would either be career, job, or this legal matter, but I feel like In the end, you will come out ahead. Whatever that means, you will be the one ahead here. You will be the one taking the lead. Don't forget, though, when you do that, to remain playful. Don't lose your playfulness in the process. Um, don't get too wound tight. Don't be this emperor in reverse. Um, and kind of let things you know, flow more naturally. And you should be okay. So, Sagittarius, I'm going to hop over to the extended now if you're interested in that. If you're not, that's fine, too. Thank you so much for watching the reading. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload more readings for Sagittarius. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.